hi guys uh today i'm going to share with you how i used my uh, clay pot for the first time so let's begin uh let's uh, start with uh, clarified butter i put about half a cup um, of clarified butter one dot of uh, asafoetida or hing uh, you can use it in powder form which you can find it indian pakistani uh, grocery store and a bunch of uh, spinach and two pounds of uh, ground beef um then i took uh, one big onion uh, if you have uh, two small that would do but uh, one big onion and uh, peel it uh, cut it into small pieces and uh, put it in the blender so that um, uh, you know we need it uh, uh, not like paste but uh, you know uh, uh, you know blend it so then i put about five uh, to six uh, cloves of garlic and about uh, two inches of uh, ginger peeled ginger and uh, put it in the food processor and uh, blend them together and then we're gonna pour that uh, in uh, the pot and um one thing to remember that uh, and uh, make sure that uh, clay takes uh, longer little longer not longer but little longer than uh, stainless steel or you know other uh, metals to heat up so make sure you give it enough time to uh, you know heat the um, clarified butter so um, it does take you know about i would say five ten minutes uh, longer but once it's all heated then it retains that heat that i love about it and um, so even if you uh, turn the heat down it will uh, still uh, maintain its heat so that's why clay pots are so good but because the heat is uh, surrounded all around it so um, then I uh, washed the spinach, cut it into, uh, you know, smaller pieces and uh, we're going to blend that um, into a fruit, food processor and just make sure that, uh, you know, uh, you do small uh, uh, portions and uh, blend really good and you will... Um, uh, like not paste but it's it's like very small like uh, you know uh, blend it together and not uh, uh, you know big pieces so we're gonna finish doing all the um, uh, spinach as you can see uh, it's perfect exactly what i needed and uh, it's gonna be about i would say um, four to five uh, cups of spinach and uh, once it's all done um, and make sure you wash spinach real good because you know uh, that's very important and um, so I did in small uh, portions so that you know I don't uh, clog the food processor so once that's all done just uh, pour everything into a bowl and we're gonna put that in um, uh, we're going to keep that aside and then we're going to do the ground beef first so as you can see that um, uh, onions garlic and uh, ginger is uh, light golden brown um, and then i put uh, uh, ground beef in it um, so it was frozen i left it uh, you know at room temperature and now what I'm gonna do, I'll just uh, leave it in and put the lid on. After a few um, uh, minutes, you will see that it's all um, nice and uh, moist. And um, now uh, once it's all uh, light golden brown, I put one teaspoon of chilies, one chili flakes, one teaspoon turmeric, Two teaspoons of uh, ground coriander, uh, one teaspoon of garam masala, and one teaspoon of salt. 
and if you like uh, you can put more I added two but um, salt as per your uh, taste and uh, then blend them um, all together so that you know it's uh, um, well blended in the ground beef then I put fenugreek uh, about uh, two tablespoons of fenugreek uh, leaves dried and um, just you know just keep stirring uh, and you know this clay pot what other thing that I like about it is it literally acts like a um, non-stick as you can see there's nothing sticking to uh, the bottom and uh, it's really good you know um, so then we are gonna put all the spinach that we blended and um, we're gonna just keep stirring it till uh, you know it's uh, nicely um, well blended together and um, you're gonna see that I put about uh, uh, half a cup of water and then blend it real good and put other half uh, of uh, um, uh, other uh, half cup of water again and then put the lid on so that it's all um, um, you know it's cooked with its own moisture and as you can see how well it uh, um, uh, it's cooked it smells so good so I hope you like it and and I'm going to show you how uh, you can wash it I just use a dot of uh, um, uh, detergent and uh, with the brush just you know with the hot water just swipe it around and uh, it's done it literally is a non-stick uh, pot honestly so I hope you like it uh, give me your comments tell me what you did with your pot and uh, keep me in your prayers and good luck bye bye